Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1033. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Oh, wow, this is such a cool video. I love hanging out on our Excel online team. Uh, Mr. Excel and I published the dual Mr. Excel, Excel is Fun Trick 134, and then uh, this person at YouTube posted an idea about how to do it a different way in the comment section of videos. Now, in that video, we have products in this column and then sub products. And our goal was to get to this the, the product listed by itself and then with all the sub products, and then the next product listed. Um, by itself and then sub products. So Mr. Excel did VBA. I did some horrible formula. In this one, we want to do use uh, an old trick that's been around forever. And I've seen all sorts of people do it, and I've never done a video on it. Uh, Mr. Excel, uh, Mike Alexandra, uh, Deborah from Contextures. Oh, totally amazing. Actually, someone in the comments even pointed out one of Deborah's videos. It's pivot table and multiple consolidated ranges. Now, the thing is, in 2007, 10, and 13, you don't have direct access to it. But we can get to the old pivot table dialog box. It's a three-step dialog box. Unless you do multiple consolidated ranges, then it is four steps. Um, we can get to that with a keyboard shortcut. Now, here's the thing. When we do that, it's going to be quite cool. It'll spit out a, a, a table much easier than the, the, the formula or VBA. But we are going to have to be clever about getting this first one without a subproduct. So I'm just simply going to uh, insert a column here, right click Insert, and then call this, um, oh, actually, I'm going to copy this, Control C, because I want this to say subproduct 1. And then I'm going to copy it over, and that'll give me up to subproduct 7. So this will show up in our table. Now here's the trick. The keyboard shortcut to open up the old pivot table three-step wizard is Alt-D-P. You can also add a button. The old three-step wizard, if you know how to um, do your quat, right click, uh, customize quat. But here it is. We're going to say multiple consolidated ranges. I'm going to click OK. Here I'm going to create my p uh, page fields. That's like report fields in uh, newer versions. But we're not really going to do anything. But we need to click that. The next one, we're going to highlight our range, the entire table, Control Shift Down Arrow. And we're going to make sure it says 0, because we don't need any page fields. And click Next. And then we'll create it on a um, uh, new sheet. By the way, back, this is cool. It says uh, 2B up here. And then back, it says uh, 2A. So there's really four steps. But that old wizard was cool. It had 2A and 2B. All right, I'm going to click Finish. And there's our whole table, and there's that blank column. But here's the thing. If I can get my um, field list to show up, uh, you uncheck row and column, and it's just left with one summarization cell. Looks like there's uh, 600 uh, total. You double click it. And this is true of all pivot tables. If you double click, it shows you the source data. So you double click and boom, look at that. Is that amazing? You know, if you knew all the keyboard shortcuts for this, uh, this would be a lot faster than typing out VBA code or uh, that formula. But there's still one last step. We need that whole column, but there it is. We have seven of those with an empty cell and sub products. So we simply come over here and call this something like new list equals, and we'll join this. Oh, wait a second. We right here don't want to join anything because there's an empty, but down here we need to join that with a dash. So I'm going to join this to the if function. And then we're going to say if this cell right here equals double quote, double quote. That's the syntax for um, either empty cell or null text ring. It'll work fine just uh, right here. So if it's empty, then what do I want to join? Comma, the value of true would be double quote, double quote, uh, the syntax for nothing. Otherwise, please give us in double quotes space dash space end double quote ampersand and the sub product 
close parentheses, control enter. Now, I'm going to delete this for a second because it's easier to just double click. Double click and I guess it's not going down. Now, I don't know why my double click isn't working. C, D. I suppose I could add this to the table. I don't know why it's not working. I'm sure there's a reason. Right click, insert. Uh, and then F4 to repeat, F4. I'm just going to point to, um, to type new list here, and it will think I want a new table new column. I'm going to copy this formula here, Control-C, Control-V, and then it should just auto-populate, and it doesn't. Let me point to this and say overwrite all cells in this column with the formula. Control down arrow, and there we have it. Absolutely amazing. It is cool to hang out with our online Excel team. Uh, we'll see you next video.